Konnichiwa and welcome to episode 24. It is the 3rd of May, the weather is absolutely glorious and Ichi's friend Hiro-san has come up from Tokyo to help us with a very important task. Over the next two days we are going to be painting the outside of the house. You might remember that our outside wall is made of a kind of plaster and metal cladding. This is very typical on this type of Japanese house. This cladding comes in lots of different colours. Ours is this yellowy brown colour which we don't really like. So for the last few weeks we've been driving around looking at other people's houses, trying to decide what colour we'd like to go. <laughs> we must have looked really suspicious. As an example, this house has got cream cladding and this one's got grey. This is one of our favourites. I think it looks really smart. Kinds has got quite a good selection of outdoor paints. Our three favourites are sand green, iron blue and castle grey. We spent a huge amount of time going backwards and forwards between the blue and the grey. In the end, we decided to go for the blue. First look at the colour of the paint, open tin. Looks quite nice. We decided on the blue because we thought the grey had the potential to look a little bit too much like a battleship and the blue had a happier vibe. Before painting, we brushed down the wall with a rough sponge. この感じだとローラーじゃあのメジっていうかこの中あ届かないと。だから溝が溝はもしかしたらこの筆で全部はけで行くしかないのかもしれない。うん。ちょっと面倒。そうですね。面倒くさいけど。This is Hiro Sam. She did such a great job. Thanks, Hiro. I have to admit, I was a little bit nervous about how the blue would look. We didn't see any other blue houses on our travels, so I couldn't imagine it properly. It turned out great. We're both really happy with the colour choice. This is the before, this is the after, and this is the amazing sunset from that night. Hiro-san stayed over and the next day we took her for an early morning walk. The lotus fields in front of the house are currently being harvested. Rice has very recently been planted in the paddy fields. 
And the first fruits are starting to appear in the orchards. On day two, we painted the back of the house. This was a much bigger job and required a large amount of prep work. The window box is in really bad condition. In an ideal world, we would take this off and replace the windows, but given our extremely small budget, we've decided to leave it. This is what the windows look like from inside the kitchen. I guess you could say that's a bay window. It's looking nice and tidy down the side after our extreme gardening with Jessup. So for prep work, we brushed all of the walls, sanded the window box and covered the windows with a protective plastic sheet. The condition of the window box is very bad. It's completely rotten in places. Very bad. This is the new gas meter that we've had installed, ready for the new boiler. The paint was quite thick, so Itchy mixed it with a little bit of water to make it easier to put on. Itchy's favourite saying is dandori hachibu, which means 80% of the work is in the preparation and 20% is in the doing. He tells me this all of the time and that was definitely 100% true of painting this back wall. We're both 
so, so happy with this colour choice. We think the house looks great. One million percent better than before when it was yellow. What do you think? Do you like it? We still need to paint the drain pipes and the window box. We're going to leave the new section of wall which we built in that natural wood colour. We also need to spruce up the front of the house but that's a job which we'll leave for another time. If you enjoyed this episode please hit the like button. Thank you for watching and see you next time.